guys, welcome back to another video. So, for this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a code GUI in Roblox Studio. So, as you can see, I've already um, made a screen GUI, put it in the frame, put all of these things. And I can't really talk that loud as um, I'm quite sick, but well, not quite, just a bit. And, yeah, so... Basically here, I already made it, and and now this video is basically just going to be about scripting. So you want to go to the um, this text button where it's the submit. You want to click on hover over insert object, put on a local script, and I'm going to kind of just like. Go over each segment so you can uh, you can kind of learn a bit. So I'm going to put local submit equals script dot parent. Okay. Um. Local box equals script dot parent dot parent dot um okay right uh yeah dot box uh local okay um and now this is where we get to i guess the fun bit it's where we get to you know just say our code so our code you can you can practically make it whatever you want you can even make it so the codes you know like the player's name or something it's really up to you but all you gotta do is you gotta put uh, just quotation marks just like that just singular quotation marks it doesn't really matter and then you can go put the code so the code that I'm gonna put is guess like because you know you can like the video you can do whatever you want you can put in like you know your youtube channel or like really just whatever you want but i'm just gonna leave it as the youtube channel and now what we're going to do is i'm going to explain this yeah okay so what it means by local submit equals script that parent local box equals you know blah blah blah. This is basically like local something equals something. It's like defining. It's like you can't write a sentence with a word that you don't know the meaning of. And this is exactly how it is. It's kind of like you're writing a story. And you have to write using words you don't know the definition of, and you're right now just defining them. That's that's basically it. That's basically what local submit equal script up parent means. You're just defining it. You're defining what submit means. As for local, well, I'm not really sure what that means. I haven't really learned that much about scripting, but. Um, as for now, just put it like that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put script dot parent actually, uh, yeah, script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect a parentheses function parentheses parentheses. So basically, this means uh, the script, which is the local script, the script's parent, which is the submit, dot mouse button one click. So that means this will only work on computers. So if you click, if you click this button, so if we go here, if I click this, it will start to connect and it will do a function. So basically, it's saying that if if a computer mouse clicks on that submit button something will happen okay so also I'm just going to put this local a equals 1 local b 
equals one. Okay, so what I'm doing right there is I'm putting local a equals one. It's so that like if you insert a code that is wrong, it's a invalid code, and like that. So I'm going to put if if box dot text equals code or actually it's equals equals code then so this is saying uh oops forgot to put make that a capital so it's basically saying that if the box which is you know this if the box is text right here oh let's just scroll down the box is text equals to the code which is rocky flame then something will happen and that something will be that uh you can you know it's basically whatever you want like you get that you can get like a weapon or you get that or you can get like money or whatever but since you know i haven't really put in a leaderboard with all that things and it's going to take a while I'm just going to make it so that you will get a sword if you put that in okay so hold on let me just get up the text uh, the the toolbox right here okay oops I deleted it so toolbox and now I'm going to get something okay here hold on scroll up sword and if you want me to do another tutorial on how um you know like you can get oh, sorry on how you can get like 50 plus gold or something then then um definitely just hit that like button which will just let me know that you know, I'll do it. So you just want to put the sword into the replicated storage. And then, we're well, also going to have to define what the sword is. Sorry, this is very unprepared. So we're going to put focus sword equals game dot replicated storage dot sword. Okay. Oh, classic sword. So basically, this is saying that the local sword um, basically means it's the game, the replicated storage, and inside the replicated storage is the classic sword. So that's what the sword is. And uh, you also have to define what a player is. Okay, game dot players dot local player. Okay. Okay, so now we're back on track. Then, then we can put a uh, sword colon clone parentheses parentheses dot parent oops no, dot parent equals layer dot backpack. And then now we just gotta retype that. And we'll put start again. Okay, so then there we go. So basically, that will work. But now we're going to put an else. If if b equals 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 a then submit dot text dot text equals uh, invalid here okay. Misspelled text. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this lag. Text. 
Come on, get the X, X, X. Please, like, go away. Okay. Invalid. And we're going to just put point one and submit dot text equals enter code dot dot dot. Okay, so now also we got to do another one for here so that um so that they can't use the code again. So that'd be script called and destroy. Uh, parentheses parentheses. So this should work, but first of all, we're gonna insert another local script. Okay, um, to here, and gotta put in gonna put in script up here and one click, colon connect, parentheses function, parentheses, parentheses, and a spot connect on. Alright, now we're gonna put in script dot parent dot parent dot code code frame dot visible equals not and and because we're like nearly done I can just copy that and then paste it in and just get rid of this Okay, so now this should work. Uh, hold on, forgot the end didn't come up. Alright, so now we just. Oh, what happened here? This boy was false. Oh no, why is the ending capitals? This is not going to work. So now, I'm just going to fix that up, make it level case, okay, it's auto saving, and if, and, let's press play after this finishes auto saving, please hurry up, okay, this takes a very long time to auto save, okay, so now we're going to click on play, Okay so, okay, so the game has loaded, and if you're wondering on why I have like these death skills health, it's because of um, a plugin. It's because you know these plugins that I just wanted to try out. So um, yeah, okay. So now let's test this. Yes, it works, perfect. And now let's try rookie flame. Let's um, click on submit, and as you can see, we have our sword right here, once it loads in, yeah, and as you can see, if we try to do it again, it will not work, and if we put something else, it still won't work, because, um, because the script's already destroyed, so, so basically, um, yeah. So basically that won't work, and if we try to play it again, and we put in a different code, still will not work. Okay. Okay, output, output, please come up. Oh, alright. Let's see, where is it, where is it? Uh, Okay, so hold on. I made a typo. Or well, didn't even make a typo. I, yeah, I guess I made a typo. Okay, so now hopefully this should work. 
if we put in a different one okay so let's see and if we just leave it as enter code it'll say invalid there right there invalid and then come back right there but if we put in the right code as you can see, it'll work, it will work again, just like that. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you want more tutorials, just, you know, remember to like. And that's really all, so, yeah. Peace.